What is up, my dudes? Nate here, and we're back with another exciting episode of Sly 2! Isn't that awesome? We're already on the second one. It's just, it's been no time at all. Um, <laughs> this, again, one of my favorite games. So, last time we kind of got a little, little setup. We'll set up the story. We know what's going on now. So today, we're going to go ahead and hop into episode one and get this party started. Let's do this. I mean, now, now we're going to do this. Yeah. I had to call in a few favors to get the goods on the Claw Gang's local operator. Dimitri, a sort of underworld celebrity, equally at home in high class art circles and shady back alley crimes. He was once a passionate young art student who worked hard to develop his own visionary style. Unfortunately, the art world wasn't quite ready for his kinetic aesthetic. So he gave them what they wanted and started forging old masterpieces. His way of punishing those with bad taste. Dimitri now runs a nightclub on the west side. The thumping music, colorful light shows, and a hint of danger lure in chic young patrons from far and wide. And it's here, hidden somewhere, where we'll find the clockwork tail feathers. What Dimitri plans to do with the clockwork part is beyond me. But those plans end tonight. Like Uber and the gang in... The Black Chateau. Okay, so, in this game, you have like a little hub room where you can um, switch between characters as needed, or you can go to ThiefNet here and buy abilities with the coins you get. So, instead of getting abilities from the, um, the clue chests, you get, uh, you buy them here at ThiefNet and you can sell the loot you've collected. So... I'll go into that more, but basically more of an overworld game this time around. You have more to do in the overworld. So we're going to go again, go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and check this out. We are in Paris, the same place we started technically in the first light game. But the tell you, Bentley, startup it's gonna be a intro. Real pleasure robbing this nightclub. I share in your enthusiasm, but before we hit the inside, we'll need to do a little reconnaissance work. What do you have in mind? I've installed this special antenna on the safe house to help with our first job, hacking into Dimitri's satellite array. The coordinates for the job start beacon have been uploaded to your binocucom. Make your way to this position, and I'll give you a full briefing on our objective. I'm on my way. So, in this game, as you can see, clues are now in the overworld instead of the levels, and they serve a different purpose. Um, so there's a lot more emphasis on stealth in this game and the sound plays like that basically you always know you're sneaking when you hear the sound um, which was kind of similar in the first game but it just wasn't as prominent uh, you did have that sound but it just it again it just wasn't as prominent so this one again you collect the clues in the overworld uh, and you'll find out what purpose those serve um, 
But for now, I'm going to show you kind of like the stealthy stuff. So in the, uh, in the hub world, you get to run around, think up behind people, and you get to pickpocket. Get coins, for one. Also, if there's shiny pockets like that, they may have some loot you can grab. So you grab the loot. Um, you can ha hold as much of it as you want at a time. No real, like, restriction. But you can then go sell the loot on ThiefNet, which I showed you earlier. Oh, hello. Um. Oh, dear. To... You can go sell the loot on ThiefNet, which I showed you earlier, to get more money. Um, they definitely went for more cartoony, film noir style with this game. But, um, and it's easier to find, like, your objectives. Your your missions start all over the overworld map and are all kind of involved here. There are, like... <sighs> there are ones that don't necessarily stay in the overworld, but a lot of them do. So, for, uh, one part of the stealth thing is, like, you can hide under tables and stuff now. And when people come by, you can be hiding under the tables and then come out and attack them. I don't know. You'll you'll see you'll see more as it develops. Sly, I need you to hack into Dimitri's communication array so that we'll have access to his database. How am I supposed to do that? To start, you'll need to get to the top of that tower. Then reposition the satellite dish to point at my safe house antenna. And if you want to climb on stuff, jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Try climbing up that pipe. Right. Jump and press the circle button to climb pipes. I'm on it. And I think I'm going to actually... Oh, God. This menu is very different. I forgot about it. Um, going to invert the NACUCOM controls. So... That now works more like I expected. Okay, awesome. Ah, wrong button. Okay. I'm I'm having to remember this game. Because if it, it does, it, it controls differently. He spotted me, but oh well, he'll figure it out. I've projected holographic markers near interactive objects like this satellite dish. When you're near these markers, press the circle button to use the object. Great, the first one's in position. I've uploaded the next waypoint into your thief bath imager. Remember, click the L3 button to locate your next objective. So this mission, literally, like the first mission of the game, literally is like in the hub world. Where so a big change of pace from the first game. Also, I showed you the shiny pocket, like pickpocketing people earlier. If they have a shiny pocket and you kill them, uh, you that it breaks, so you won't have it. If you want to get the shiny thing, you need to pickpocket them first. Before you. Okay, only one more to go. Activate your thief mask imager by pressing the L3 button to find the last dish waypoint. Already found Remember, it. Remember, the view is always better from a rooftop. Break into a fast run, but be careful, as this is sure to be loud enough to alert any guards in the vicinity. So I took a little tour of the Parisian rooftops. Nice work, Sly. I'm downloading from Dimitri's mainframe as we speak. All in a night's work. So, where do we go from here? Your next job is to break into the nightclub and take some reconnaissance photos of the clockwork tail feathers. To get inside, you'll have to sneak through an old wine cellar beneath town. Okay, I'll head up for the cellar. Alrighty, guys. Well, we will go ahead. It's a little bit of a shorter episode, just ever so slightly. Um, but we will continue this adventure next time. Bye-bye.